Hello, my fellow theatre writers. When the Dramatists Guild Foundation told me I'd be able to share a message with you, I thought I want to say something really elevated and perhaps a, a, a British accent might help things a bit. And then I thought, no, I just need to let them know as a fellow writer in my real voice and with my real heart, how grateful I am for all the work that you're doing, that we're doing to get through this challenging time. And if you know my work, I love to bring along a few friends and they'd like to salute you themselves. Hi there. Oh my God, theater writers. I don't know what I would do without all of you. I won't go uh, down the list of every production, every subscription, uh, all the theaters that have made my life more bearable. My husband's in the other room. He doesn't have to hear that. I don't know what we would do without you, our writers, in all of the wonderful facets of theater. Thank you for your gifts. We know this is a very difficult time. We miss you and enjoying your work, and we send you love and support. You will get through this. Mwah. I just want to say myself, as somebody who did not go going to the theater, that, in fact, we said theater, but that's okay. I'm really grateful that all of you have access to something like the Dramatist Guild Foundation where you can ask for help if you need it. We know you're so accomplished. You're so wonderful. I mean, when I think about everything from In the Heights to Hades Town to every show that I have gotten to see that has surprised me, thrilled me, lifted me up, like I want you all to know that that doesn't stop just because we have a global freaking pandemic, which let's just all remind ourselves that this is not forever. One day at a time, we are getting through this. And I really hope that you all are giving yourself the gift of applying for these amazing emergency grants that the DGF has. And, you know, there's people with like very deep pockets that are giving to make sure that you guys are rewarded as you deserve or during a time when maybe your usual means of income is not there. You know what I mean? So I really hope that you will take up this opportunity. We need you. We're looking forward to continuing when we get through the other side of this with your help. So please hang in there and we're going to see you at the theater, whether that's the great white way or the great much less white than it's ever been way. And some of us are very grateful for that. I just want to say that like, I think the theater is like the lifeblood of like everything from activist movements, which we all, I mean, I don't want to white splain to anybody, but like as a feminist, I mean, you know, whether it's what the constitution means to me or like the work of so many incredible, you know, writers, I'm not going to say female writers because nobody ever says male writers. And let's not even talk about non-binary writers, but you know what I mean? All of you, we need you. We love you. And for those who maybe like have the means and can donate, please make sure you dig deep. Think about every moment that the theater has given you and that writers, whether they're composers or librettists or, you know, everyone who has made the beautiful work possible, they need you now. So please be there for them. And here's to many future standing ovations for all of your work as soon as we can all be in a room together again. I'm going to go get my mask now. <laughs>